when we purchased the cargo trailer, we wanted a straight axle, but we they actually didn't have that and we got a drop axle. But we wanna go ahead and make sure that we have plenty of clearance with the cargo camper because we're gonna be using it for, they're gonna be using it for off-roading and things like that. So we need that additional height and we are gonna put on some bigger wheels and tires. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take the leaf spring that's mounted on the bottom of the axle and mount it on the top of the axle with a um, with a little kit that we bought to do it. And it will give us about f another five to six inches of clearance. So let's get at it. Let's, they need to get at it. I'll record. First step is we're gonna get the trailer jacked up and we're gonna use um, a number of different ways to do it. We're going to jack it up and then put jack stands under it to hold it. I'm gonna break free the lug nuts first before we actually jack it up. So first thing I'm gonna do is just break free a few of these uh, lug nuts on the, on the wheels. So make sure when you're doing this that you have done all the necessary things to make sure that the trailer does not roll back on you. We got the trailer all jacked up and, and leveled and uh, uh, loosened up the plug nuts so we can now pull off the, the wheels. That's going to expose the area where we're going to be working. And what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the leaf spring. We're going to take these U-bolts off and then we're going to uh, put another piece on the top which will allow us to uh, bring this down below. So um, our next step is going to be uh, removing one of the bolts, either this one here or this one here. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do just yet. I think I'm going to do this one over here and we're going to drop the, the axle down. Taking off these U-bolt nuts. Okay, go ahead and pull it out. We're gonna take off this bolt here. He's gonna hold it on the other side because it's knurled. And knurled means it's got some uh, teeth on it. So we don't want the bolt on his side to turn. We just wanna take the nut off. Then what I'm gonna do is have him hold this together with a pair of pliers while I hammer the bolt out. And we want to do it so that I don't hit the threads on that. So Eric, let me go to your fingers. Okay. So he's going to hold those together so as I hit, it doesn't want to just spread those apart. Ready? Yep. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it a little bit more. So I can tap it some more. A little more. So it should be able to tap through. Now I'm going to lift up this axle, Eric, see if you can pull it through. Okay. We're going to roll this axle forward and pull the, put the leaf springs so they're sitting on top of the axle. So Eric, grab your hand side there. We're just going to lift it up and kind of move it over a little bit. Yep. I think that's about half the weight of the trailer. Yeah, exactly. So we'll come up with those. Just kind of hanging in there. And then we'll... Uh, move the other one? Yeah, we'll do it just like that. So I think that is the... Are you just resting up on top of that? Yeah. Basically. Just so we can kind of be, that, that's perfect. Yep. So we're just going to use the, the tire to, to rest the axle on. It's much easier to use something to hold your axle up while you're working on it. In this particular case, we used the tire that we took off with a piece of wood and we laid the axle on top. We used the piece of wood so that it wouldn't uh, cause any damage to the tire. It made life a lot easier. We use this awesome kit by Dexter to be able to flip things from the bottom to the top. Made life a lot easier. Bracket kit that we have made by Dexter. 
comes with these brackets and what you do is you screw these on to a certain point and then what you do is you put it over the axle. And what you want to do is you want to have the same distance between this part and the existing down here, the existing bracket on both sides so it's equal distance. That's what these are for so you can adjust it up and down and then you can see where I put it on and then the little uh, the rod that sticks up from the leaf springs actually goes into that hole. So I've got that one sitting on there right now. You can see just by looking at it that it's not quite exactly equal, but that might be the way I've got the, um, uh, the axle hanging right now. So now that we've got it below, I'm going to go ahead and put this bolt back in, at least temporarily, just to hold it there so I can have a uh, make sure that I'm dealing with an even distribution as I'm, as I'm fiddling with this. Okay, see this piece right here? See this piece right here that I'm jiggling? This is the new piece that I just put in. It's got adjusters to go up and down. We want equal distance here and equal distance here in the front and in the back. So I'm going to get a measuring tape. That's about right, right there. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me because the neighbor decided to blow all his leaves today. Um, he must have been watching Be Free and decided to do it himself. So uh, along with this kit comes uh, a new shackle and U-bolt system. And this is just going to sit right up on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And the U-bolts are going to come up from underneath the axle now and connect on at the top. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to put our new uh, shackle and new bolts in place. All right, so that goes on top with the lips facing upward. And then we're going to, if you want to hold that up, I'll slide this out of the way so I can get you in the right direction. I'm trying to find where yep. You got it? Okay. All right, so. Next thing we're going to do is check the distance in the front and in the back and the gaps. So, like, it is, okay, yeah. We're trying to get even on the, both the front and the back so the axle isn't twisted. All right, so we're going to tighten up the uh, shackle on the leaf spring now. And he's holding it on the outside with the wrench so that uh, it will pull the knurled part back into the knurls. Nearly, it's very nearly, and I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna tighten it from the inside with the impact wrench. And the impact wrench. Is... So I'm gonna I'm gonna snug these up um, on the brackets real quick, and I'm gonna try to get about the same amount of bolt sticking up on each of them to start off with, and then I'm going to start doing it in a crisscross pattern. Okay, so what I'll do is do a couple on that. This is what holds the axle basically onto the leaf spring. So, now th there are torque specs for this. I'm just getting them snugged up to begin with. And then we will, uh, I don't know what the, I gotta look and see what, in the directions what the torque specs are. And then we'll hit it with the torque wrench and torque it to the specs that it, it requires. And I'm just using my torque wrench set 70 to make sure that they're all at 70 pounds. All right, so we're just finishing up. Um, this uh, this job was actually a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. The hardest part was really making sure that the trailer was jacked up and level. And of course, no place is ever level to begin with, so it does make it a little bit more difficult. But once we got that up, everything else going in was pretty easy. The one last thing that we'll have to do later down the road um, is have these brackets welded. They, they recommend uh, that you weld it where you put it on, even though it's been uh, put back together. Um, 
just for the sake of taking it off road, that type of thing, it's, it's better if it's welded. So uh, we'll get that done. I didn't have a welder here today to do it. So uh, we'll get that done at a later date, but everything went really, really smooth. This, this kit's pretty, pretty easy to use. For more videos like this, click on the video on the screen or check out our channel. If you found value in this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Remember doing things yourself allows you to save money and be free. See you in the next video.